Velkommen to gay, mine fräulein. Right, so it's been a while since I've done a gay, mostly because there hasn't been much gaming news recently. But you may have heard of the Nintendo, what is it, affiliates program? Whatever the fuck they're calling it. It's their weird way of saying, you can make money off of Let's Plays, but we want a little bit of it too. At first, I thought, well, this is a great idea! Instead of having your content removed because of Content ID, you can just have it approved by Nintendo. And it seems fair enough, I mean, Nintendo already get free advertising for this kind of shit, but, pff, you know, they need a little bit of money too, don't they? <laughs> but the more I read into it, the worse it got. A lot of people were commenting about it, saying that they had to remove all of their non-Nintendo-related content if they tried to get their entire channel affiliate. You can do individual videos, but if you have an established Let's Play channel with about a thousand Nintendo-related videos, you're not going to go through every single one of them. Especially since each video takes about 30 days to fucking process. At least that's what they say. Nintendo being Nintendo, always stepping into the new turf and fucking it up immensely, unfortunately. Everything they do other than game design, they usually fuck up on. It would seem they have a backlog of requests. Like the system was that popular that everyone had to sort of jump on it at once, or people were probably just scared that they'd get their stuff content ID'd a few days after this was announced. But this has a lot of YouTubers right pissed off. And it's a big shame. It's just like Amiibos. Nintendo has this thing that sounds like a good idea, but they don't follow through with it, and it's already starting to sound like a sour idea that won't last very long. But the way YouTube is going at the moment, I, I can't see Nintendo ever pulling the program, because the only alternative for them is not making money. But I'm not gonna join the service, I mean, I'm just doing stupid vlogs and little let's plays. I don't get enough views to make money off of YouTube. And I mean, I'm not gonna get content ID'd anytime soon. I'm not using any copyrighted material. No copyrighted material whatsoever. Hey, and speaking of one of these things, and speaking of... The Legend of Zelda, there's been a nice little announcement. Netflix, the grand killer of the television, has, well, not announced, more like, it's hinted at they are working with Nintendo to make a Legend of Zelda television series. I'm such a sucker. <laughs> no, 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 live action. Apparently, according to whatever the fuck it was, a leak, press release, I have no idea. Apparently, they wanted it to be Sort of like a family-friendly version of Game of Thrones. I mean, which is fair enough. I mean, Legend of Zelda is sort of a, a fantasy sort of setting. It, you know, it makes sense. The problem is, The Legend of Zelda is a deep franchise. But the storyline and the characters aren't so much. I mean, you would have Link. Zelda, and Ganondorf, and then maybe you could have Impa and um, a few other shitty characters, but there's never been any true character development past, well, Tingle. So I can't imagine them making this grand TV series that'll rival Game of Thrones using the Zelda universe without having to take a lot of creative license. Which means, it's gonna have so many original characters, it's gonna have so much stuff, it might as well not even be a Legend of Zelda fucking series. In fact, they might not even have Link, Zelda, or Ganondorf involved at all. Because, I mean, really, Link doesn't speak, so... As per the cartoon, they'd also be breaking the tradition of Link not having a voice. Not to mention the character designs are a bit silly. I mean, you couldn't make a serious thing without completely bastardizing the character designs. They probably won't even call it The Legend of Zelda. They'll probably just call it 
Hyrule, now on Netflix. Hey, but the good thing about this series is it'll be on Netflix exclusively, which makes it a lot easier to pirate. What, are you expecting me to buy Netflix subscription with this shit? I ain't doing it. Even if I were to buy a Netflix subscription, the shit wouldn't even come over here for like eight months after it was released in America. There's absolutely no point in buying Netflix. They keep deleting stuff as well, so if you were watching something and I, whoops, it's gone now! I don't watch anything on television really except for Top Gear, and that's on BBC iPlayer anyway. All the rest of my entertainment just comes from YouTube and work, basically. But yeah, because Zelda's not that much of a complex story, there's gonna have to be a lot of original characters, especially if they want to get to the point of Game of Thrones. Which also means there's gonna be a lot of Tumblr fangirls for these handsome American actors who are gonna be playing all of these extra characters. Oh, it's gonna be Super Hulock all over again. But the project's only just been leaked or whatever, so it might not even happen. It's just like Sony. Sony have the Sonic movie and apparently a Mario Brothers movie somewhere in their system. It's not even started yet. That might not even happen. Remember the Sims movie? Remember the Pac-Man movie? Remember the fucking Pong movie? Where did all that shit go, huh? All these people bought rights to make movies and television series out of fucking game licenses. Where did they go, huh? Oh yeah, Uwe Ball. He made all these shitty movies about fucking horror games and Far Cry or whatever fuck he wanted to make. Shit like the Tomb Raider movies don't even fucking count because Tomb Raider itself is based on Hollywood action. It already feels like a movie. It's a cinematic game. Super Mario is not a fucking cinematic game. And when they made a fucking movie out of it, oh, oh, oh you better believe. I'm looking forward if they ever make a Mario movie, if they do this Legend of Zelda series, then I'm excited for it. Just because it'll be interesting, and if it sucks, well, <laughs> doesn't fucking matter. If it's great, then I'll actually have something to watch. Maybe I will invest in Netflix. Who fucking knows? Anywho, if you have any thoughts on this spectacular piece of news that I've brought to you right now, go ahead and drop it off in the comments. I'm sure I'll give you an answer or two, if you actually make a coherent English sentence. You can do that, can't you? Oh, and by the way, like, comment, and subscribe, you ungrateful little shit!